guys, it's Sarah and today is Booklist Thursday. This is a video series I do with my friend Lindsay over at Lindsay's Little Library. And every Thursday we bring you some sort of list or book topic that we feel like talking about for the week. And this week we are going to talk about some authors who have multiple genres that they write in. So they don't stick to one genre. They kind of bounce around a little bit. Some have two some have three, some have more, <laughs> but it's really interesting because it keeps people on their toes and it gives people the same type of writing just in a different style. And I think that's really interesting. Okay, the first one is like super easy. It's James Patterson. He writes everything. And I'm not kidding when I say that. <laughs> he is in almost every single section of our bookstore. <laughs> it's nuts. Any section you walk into, there's going to be a James Patterson book there. He writes mostly mystery thrillers because he has all of his series that he writes. So that's mainly his big genre. But he also writes nonfiction. Uh, he has written about the royal family. So he is in the biography section under that. He's also in the history section under the royals. Um, he has written books about traveling. He's in the travel section as well. He's written a medical book about nurses. Like it's kind of crazy. He's literally everywhere. And uh, my friend Mandy and I joke that he's literally taking over the world. <laughs> so um, like we can't get away from him uh, type thing. It's so funny. We have so many jokes back and forth about, oh, there he is again. Can't get away from James. So it was funny. But yeah, he writes in multiple, multiple genres. Another one is J.K. Rowling. So she is obviously most known for the Harry Potter series, but she has also written adult books. She has written an adult literary fiction book with Casual Vacancy. She has also written a mystery thriller series um, with the Camorran Strike series. So she's written in different genres that way and also for different audiences. Her mystery thriller series she writes under a pen name which is Robert Galbraith so if you've seen those in the store that's actually JK Rowling um her literary fiction is under her name though okay we can also talk about Marissa Meyer so Marissa Meyer has written um young adult books so she kind of sticks to one age range but she has written both science fiction and she has also written uh contemporary so two different types I have not read any of her contemporary books but I love her science fiction books and um she also wrote, she's written some fantasy and stuff. I just read Heartless, which I absolutely loved. So um, yeah, she writes for the same general audience, but different genres in there. Another one is Ashley Winstead. So she has written three thriller books, which all three are so fantastic. <laughs> I five-starred all three of them. And she's also written some contemporary, which I have not read yet, but it's on my list to read this year. She has a so far duology of uh, a contemporary romance series. So um, I definitely plan to read those this year. Hopefully I would like to. And yeah, just to kind of see how she takes on a contemporary scene. And then her next book, which is coming out, I believe next year, um, is going to be a literary fiction as well. Kind of more in the veins of Taylor Jenkins Reid is what she said. Um, so I think that'll be really interesting to see her write in yet another genre that way. And then another one who is incredibly prolific is Stephen King. Obviously he's most known for his horror books, but he has also written just straight mystery mystery books uh, with the Bill Hodges series. Um, that's more of a detective series. And he's also written some historical books like uh, 112263. That's like a historical fiction slash sci-fi a little bit because it has to do with time travel, um, stuff like that. So he's he's written mostly horror, but a couple of his books have come out and they've been a little bit different, which I think is really interesting. And then he's also written uh, nonfiction with his on writing book, which is very, very popular. Okay, guys, those are five authors just kind of off the top of my head that I know write in different genres. Um, I think it's really interesting when they do that because it gives you a whole nother side of an author that you, you know, would really enjoy. And, you know, even if people who want to read Stephen King but don't really want the horror stuff, there's other options. And I really like that. Hey, guys, make sure you go and check out Lindsay today and see which author she's going to be highlighting. And we will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day.